What's good guys, Weezy back here again with another video on Monday's motivation and this week we'll be talking about risk taking and here I have my book where I summarize what risk taking means to me. So let's get right to it. Growing up in our society, most individuals often perceive the word risk as a negative connotation. This usually draws from my elders and typically their own risk in the past but easily given up because they didn't have opportunities such as the internet, social media, and verbal support from their peers to build their own business. From not having these opportunities that our generation now has, we must fully understand where it came from while showing them that it is truly possible to build your own successful business. More importantly, we should see risk taking as a positive meaning. By reaching our true happiness, we must think positive on our risk taking and have faith towards every step. Risk taking won't only benefit the career path you're already on, but it can actually open you up to a world of possibilities that you have yet to consider. So continue to strive for the things your heart desires and wake up every morning with a positive perspective. Now risk taking is very important for me because without it, I feel like I would have never discovered my true purpose in life. Coming from a fashion and a sports background my entire life, if someone would have told me why I was younger to begin sewing, to build a business, then I would have laughed at them because I would have never believed them. But really looking back on it now, I really wish I would have started a couple years ago. But I do understand that taking the risk to launch my brand back in 2017 and the choices I made each day forward has led me up to this moment and I felt like everything has happened at the right moment. Also understand when taking risks that you will fail and lose money and trust me, I've been there. I lost a lot of money and I failed a lot of times. But those that continue to prosper will see the light of day again and most importantly, they will be living the life that they desire. Now I know that there's a lot of information on the web about risk, but I would like to share my four favorite points about risk taking and what I feel impacts my life. Number one, risk not being good enough. There's always a chance that you won't be good enough, but isn't that something that you'll like to know? The fact is that you're either good enough or you're not good enough, simple as that. And this is important because it informs you how much more work that you need to put in in order for you to succeed. But you will never know you're good enough until you don't risk being good enough. Number two, risk losing friendships. Friendships can be great, but they can also be very restrictive. Following your dreams involves solitary confinement. <laughs> I'm joking, but it does involve some solitude. And with me, like I said before in my previous video, I go into major isolation when I'm doing a new project. And that means not talking to family, close friends, and also my girl for like 15 hours throughout the day or even the entire day. Cause I really want to focus on getting this project done and I realized that when I do that I cut the time down to get the project uh, completed. Like when I first started sewing it, it used to take me about one or two weeks just to get a project done and now it only takes four to five days. So really putting that time for isolation um, works out in the long run. Number three, risk missing out in order to achieve something greater. A lot of people don't want to miss out on parties, get togethers, chill sessions or concerts or they're afraid that staying in and getting rest or even getting a project done will make them miss out on something life-changing. But think about it this way. You've been making sure that you haven't missed out on all of these things for all of these years. Now ask yourself, have any of these things really made an impact in your life in a positive way? And lastly, number four, risk putting it all on the line. If we do things right, eventually there will come a time you will have to decide whether or not you want to put it all on the line and roll the dice. The later you risk losing everything, the more difficult it will be to bounce back. So start now while you're young. Just be smart about it and make sure you know exactly what you are risking and exactly what you will be getting as a reward. So in conclusion, you can either choose to sit on the sideline and watch life pass by, or you can get out of your comfort zone and begin to thrive. And I'll let you choose that. Once again, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I hope you all will take action this week towards taking calculated risks. And I will see you all next week on Monday's Motivation. Peace.